Hi guys, welcome to another episode and today we're reviewing this amazing looking Ford Puma. As you can see it's very nice, the colour really makes it stand out and the alloys are amazing. So we're going to start with a little walk around. This is the ST line model, um, so it is very nice um, and on the road it looks even better. Um, so we're going to start with the boot um, because the boot is surprisingly big and the one thing I do like about it is that it's an electric boot. So we're going to press the button on the key twice. And uh, this is also a hybrid model, um, which is always great. And fuel economy, marvellous. Now, as you can see, it's got the boot isn't so deep, but it's big. Um, my wheelchair does fit in there. You don't have to take it apart, which you'll see in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's a good boot. It's got little hooks as well. It's got the 12 volt charging socket in there. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a good sized boot. So to close it, then you click simply just click the button twice on the key and it closes again which is always great for someone like myself because i can never reach to close the boot um so yeah now we're going to get inside and i'm going to show you inside because it's very nice i'll just say digital cockpit let's just say that um so let's get inside um hang on it's locked i don't know why it's done that so hold on let's open it again here we go yeah now the doors are not the lightest but they're not really heavy either as you can see inside it's very nice inside you've got the red stitching on the seats which makes it really really stand out and then you've also got this is an automatic box in this car um, which you've also got paddle shift so anyway let's get in the one thing i would like to note i don't know if you're going to be able to see it because it is quite dark on the door but along the bottom of the door sill is a rubber strip which for someone like me or if you use a wheelchair you'll know that when you drive it up to the side of the car to get in sometimes you do scratch the paintwork so i think that's a really good thing to have because you know you're never going to scratch it um now it is a little bit higher than normal and i'll be honest it is a little bit of a struggle but again like every other car that i did re review once i'm in there it's great so let's show you Right, so we're in, and as always, my steering wheel is the best friend to kind of pull me in. So yeah, let's take a look inside. So we're inside, and as you can see, first of all, first impressions, I do really like it. As you would have seen, it was a bit of a struggle on the way in, like I said. But that's only because it's just a little bit higher up. It's like a beefed up version of a Ford Fiesta, really. Um, but the gap isn't very big, so that's a, that's a plus. But it's just the height difference for me. But once we're in yeah, it's really nice. There's a lot of things going on. We've got a digital dashboard, which I really like that. We'll come to that a bit later on. It's got electric windows, electric mirrors, automatic lights, electric wipers. Um, uh, what else we've got? Uh, there's, there's like loads on there. There's cruise control, speed limiter. Um, it's got Bluetooth, DAB radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, when you plug your phone in with a USB. It's got heated seats. Uh, it's got flappy paddles. Um, and it's got a normal handbrake. Which I've got to be honest, I've driven a car with a normal handbrake for such a long time. Really weird though, but it does just feel nice to have the handbrake there. Um, it is a hybrid model, um, so riding around town you don't even notice much fuel being used, which is always a bonus. Is it comfortable? Yes. But because it's the ST line, I do feel it's a bit firmer than maybe an, a different model. Um, but other than that, it's lovely. Um, you've got a nice large screen for the entertainment system, which is great. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a really nice car, first impressions. So now we're going to go for a drive um, and we're going to take a look at it.
Driving along now, um, we've come over the mountain road back into the South Wales Valleys. Um, there's a lot of water, a little bit more than I expected, to be fair. Um, but it's handling it very well, it's great. It's actually very, very comfortable. Um, I'm really surprised actually, because there's a lot of like little holes in this road, so it's, it's really quite comfortable. The steering is nice and light, which is always a bonus. Especially if you suffer with things like arthritis and things, you want a light steering, which is great. Um, it does, you can change the driving mode, so you've got slippery, so if it's icy. You've got an off-road one, if it's on a, like a muddy track or something like that. You then got normal and you've got sport. The steering does get a bit heavier doing sport and the throttle response is a lot, is a lot more, if I'm honest, a lot quicker. Um, and then you've just got your eco mode, which is for driving around town, and you'll notice that it tends to use hybrid part of the car a little bit more. So if you save more fuel. Um, I, if I'm honest, I do really like this car. Like I said earlier, it's like a beefed up version of a Ford Fiesta. Uh, so yeah, I do quite like it. Right, so we've driven along um, and we've come up to one of the, another point on a mountain in the South Wales Valleys. The weather is an absolute nightmare, but this little car is great. There was a lot of pedals, got to be honest, didn't struggle at all, went straight through them, nice and slow, kept it going, marvellous, absolutely marvellous. And with the different modes as well, that it's got like trail and slippery, we had to put in the trail at one bit. Um, again, not a problem. Um, so I've, I've got to be honest, I'm going to rate this car. So we're going to start with practicality is a three. Um, reason being is because, yeah, the chair fits in the boot, but once it's in there, um, there's not really a lot of room. Then we're going to score accessibility, we're going to score that a three. Even though the gap is small, um, it is still a little bit higher for me to get into, but I mean, that's just for me. I mean, someone else might not struggle. Um, performance, then we're going to score that a four, because like I said, it's a great little car. It's got a lot of kick to it, um, should you need to use it. So yeah, I like that. And then comfort, I'm going to score that a four. Simply, again, because the seats are comfortable. It is a firmer ride, I should imagine, than another model. But again, it's not too firm that it's uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, I, I do really like this car. So if you want to check one out, go to your local dealership. Or if you want to order one, go on to the link that's below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Keep an eye out for future videos. And if you want to take a look at our other videos. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys.